स्वामी विवेकानंद जर्नी टू अमेरिका शिकागो जर्नी टू अमेरिका यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका ही वॉज डिटरमाइंड टू गो टू एस ए होली मदर श्री शारदा देवी टू हुम ही हैड रिटर्न अर्लियर सेंट हर कंसेंट एंड ब्लेसिंग फाइनली विद द मनी कलेक्टेड बाय हिज अंग डिसिपल्स बाय बेगिंग फ्रॉम डोर टू डोर एज वेल एज दाइट गिवन बाय द महाराजा ऑफ माइसूर द राजा ऑफ रामनाड एंड द राजा ऑफ खेत्री स्वामी जी सेल्ड फॉर अमेरिका फ्रॉम मुंबई देन मुंबई ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मे एटीन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी थ्री स्वामी जी इज रीच रीच शिकागो एट द इंड ऑफ जुलाई वाया कोलम्बो सिंगापुर जापान एंड वैनकवर ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट ऑफ रिलीजन्स द पार्लियामेंट ऑफ रिलीजन्स वॉज एन एडजंक्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स Columbian Exposition Series was held in Chicago in 1893 to celebrate the 4th 100th anniversary of the discovery of America by Christopher Columbus. The first session of the parliament was held on Monday 11 September 1893 in the spacious hall of the Yard Institute. Its huge galleries were packed with more than 4000 people men and women representing the best culture of the united states his life and contribution to us is very marvelous and outstanding that's why we all must know and try to learn more and more about the life and contribution of swami vivekanand addressing sambodhan in wordly bowing down to devi saraswati the goddess of knowledge he began to speak no sooner had he addressed the assembly as sisters and brothers of america than a great wave of enthusiasm went through the audience they rose to their feet with shouts of applause as if they had gone mad everyone was cheering cheering and cheering the swami was bewildered This was a great achievement of an Indian in Chicago by his beautiful and melodious and sweet sounds. He attracted all audiences by his beautiful words and by addressing the people of America. According to Dr. J. H. Burroughs, Swami Vivekananda exercised a wonderful influence over his audiences. This was quoted by Dr. J. S. Burroughs. Swami Vivekananda exercised a wonderful influence over his audiences. This was next, according to the New York Herald, he is undoubtedly the greatest figure in the Parliament of Religions. After hearing him, we feel how foolish it is to send missionaries to this learned nation. The New York Herald, USA, 1893. Of course the life and contribution of Swami Vivekananda is very marvelous and outstanding for us